this next hey. artist i feel like i know so personally like <laughs> so well like, hey liz how are you but it's like we're the same person almost <laughs> oh thanks for um coming to host for a minute uh, yeah. so I could, uh, do you need a minute to uh switch yeah. over yeah, we'll or all right so how are you guys doing tonight my name is jose barajas i'm gonna just jump in and co-host for a quick second while um, Liz gets situated to, to perform. Uh, we're blessed. Uh, Nathaniel, great job. Uh, great songs out there. Uh, some comments on the uh, Zoom here of just woohoo and uh, great songs. So uh, that original you did, I, I really enjoyed. So good stuff there, dude. All right. So, uh, Coming up is uh, Liz Perry. She is uh, from Evansville, Indiana, a homeschool mom of three kids um, that she loves. And uh, she loves to obviously uh, be on Zoom and do Bible studies and share her music. And she likes to just uh, share the truth of the gospel in song and conversation uh, because uh, that's a passion that you have. And so we are um, honored to have you tonight. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. It says you also have known Red since you were 15. Yeah, so. yeah. back when I was uh, in high school, I don't remember. I met Red on a chat board. We can't remember which chat board. It was one of those CCM chat boards, you know, they used to have so many for different artists. And we met on a chat board and he told me all about the uh, Christian cafe that he volunteered at. And it just sounds so awesome. And if it had been local to me, I would have gone there every single time the doors were open. So yeah, uh, Red, <laughs> he always was trying to get me to come. He's like, you can come up here. It's not that far, right? You know, you just take plane and come out here and all that. And uh, so for all for all these, he's like, someday I'm gonna get you out here. Someday I'm gonna get you out here, you know, just all that. And uh, well, God is cool. And he had plans to uh, move Red to an online platform. And so uh, I do get to be a part of <laughs> the ministry that Red has. Um, so, yes. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a, actually a cool cafe. It's there in um, Bellflower. And uh, I played the, a couple of times. That's where I met Red. And um, so, yeah, it's a blessing to be doing this Zoom across uh, the country and the world. So. Awesome. Uh, what do you have for us tonight? Uh, what's your first song? My first song is going to be an original, um, an original worship song that I wrote when I was in, uh, I don't know, actually, actually, this one is not from when I was in high school. Most of my songs are wrote when I was in high school, but this one I actually wrote just a few years back um, when I was in the Word and just uh, praying, and this worship song was born. Christ alone I place my trust, all of the ground slips away, you're still there holding my hand, your love will turn my darkness away.
very nice, very nice. Um, that kind of a little uh, Irish uh, folk type sound to it. At least that's what I kind of hear. So really nice. So um, when you write, like what, uh, you know, how do you write? Like, I know everybody writes differently. Uh, I don't really have a criteria for how I write. I don't do anything like I'm probably supposed to or whatever. I just. Um, <laughs> Those are the, the best Lord, songs. <laughs> yeah, the Lord has given me songs over time and I'm like, they're just songs. I don't need, I, I, I don't read music. So I, they're just there. So. Uh, yeah, I'm in the same way. I don't read music. I just like a melody, put music to it and, you know, yeah. see what people think afterwards. <laughs> Um, second song, what do you got going for us? I am going to do Because He Lives. Nice. Uh, the song has meant a lot to me over the years, and it's just uh, the truth of the gospel. Because Christ lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because one of those uh, hidden gems in the book of Job, you know, that I know my yeah. Redeemer lives. Yeah. And, it's, you know, just so cool because of how old, you know, scholars believe that, you know, the book of Job was written to know that his Redeemer lives. And that just speaks, I think, about just what Job knew, but also the grace that God showed him. And uh, it was just awesome to to hear that rendition of yours. I, I really like uh your voice and when you go high it's really sounds nice yeah so like i completely mess up my key change so i <laughs> don't worry about it it's gonna it's... like swing with it man i'm like oh i'm gonna have to go back down to that that's the that's the mark of a good musician a good <laughs> worship leader it's like nobody knows you mess up except for yourself and maybe other people but yeah you know, when i used to be with, with my family that was like our phrase is just 
Fake it till you make it in the music whenever exactly. you can worship, man. <laughs> so, uh, where did you start like playing music? Uh, was it in church? Was it just at home? Hobby? Yeah, it was in my bedroom, yeah. Bedroom. So, yeah, my sister had bought a guitar um, and I kept sneaking it because I'd been writing music for a while and I didn't know any instruments or anything like that. So, I had been, you know, just writing down my songs and stuff and, um, so I started sneaking her guitar to try to like figure out if I could learn to play and then play my own song. So I started with like, Lord, I lift your name on high. Yeah, that's how I started. Um, so I would just like play a song that I would find simple chords, you know, for, and I would play along with it. And that's how I learned how to play guitar. Yeah, that's the best way. I tell people that that's the way I kind of learned. That's the best way to, if you want to learn, just uh, find a song you like, easy one, you know, like Lord, I lift your name on high has three chords and you know go with it and you know that's you're going to kind of get the hang of it after that so uh what's your next song that you have for us um i have uh it's new to well it's not a new song but it's new to me i'm uh, just learning it uh but i have i guess it's called for god so loved and i can't remember the name of the band but anyway i'm sure lots of people know the song Come all you weary, come all you thirsty, come to the well that never runs dry. Drink of the water, come and there's no more. Come all you sinners, come find his mercy, come to the table. of his goodness, find what you're looking for. God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son to save us. Whoever believes in him will live forever. is one and only son to save us whoever believes in him will live forever come all you sinners come find his mercy come to the table he will satisfy the taste of his goodness find what you're looking for He gave us His one and only Son to save us. Whoever believes in Him will live forever. Bring all your failures, bring your addictions. Come lay them down at the foot of the cross. Jesus is waiting there. Open arms Bring all your failures Bring your addictions Come lay them down At the foot of the cross Jesus is waiting With open arms God so loved The world that he Now we 
loves his one and only son to save for God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son to save us and never be eaten him but live forever the power of hell is forever defeated now it is well I'm walking in freedom for God powerful um your sister said she loves you so much and that uh when she hears you sing it reminds her of the best parts of uh her childhood so oh there comes my sister just coming along to make me cry right <laughs> <laughs> i'm uh apologize for digging over here but i was like trying to find i had uh that's a great song uh, obviously we you know for those of you that don't know it's John 16 so that's the gospel all summed up in yeah. one verse. Um, so, um, and I just love the way you sang that, Joe, again. Just, uh, I, love that. I was uh, thinking of songs earlier today, um, and I was like, that song just was going through my mind. I've never played that before, but it was going through my mind, specifically the parts about bringing your failures and addictions, because people need to hear that simple truth that is literally all it takes to bring your failures, your addictions, no matter what they may be, and lay all, all of it at the feet of Jesus. And your addiction may be, your addiction may be sugar, your addiction may be television, your addiction, whatever it may be, come lay it down at the foot of the cross. Our addictions are anything that we put before Christ. Absolutely. What our idols are, anything that um, is before Christ and that's addiction, so, right? It not necessarily, I think when people use that word, it, it's you know drugs and alcohol and other things but you know there's a lot of things that you know we as uh, humans do that we put before god so very true um i hope i'm saying this right but kaya who's going to perform a little later she says that she loves uh, your voice and uh she's uh, doing woo woo on the chat here so uh you have one well, i can't see any chat because uh, i had to jerry rig my set up today so that my phone has all the chats so i'm just like i just pull up my chat on the computer like red tell me if i need anything like i can't see anything i see things float across and they're gone quickly so eric I says that uh, you're you're the bomb and that's he spelled it with that, that same way so great job out there uh you got one last song for us or yeah i was gonna just do three but i just i'm gonna i couldn't find the words for it now i had it here but i'm gonna do how he loves us okay yeah. from memory jealous for me and he loves like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory and I realize just how beautiful you are your affections are for me. Thank you. 
wow very 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 powerful um a lot of people don't know but the original artist john mark mcmillan uh, wrote it for his friend uh, stephen after a car accident and i actually recommend if uh, you're out there to youtube the his version and listen to the story behind it it's it's so powerful and um nobody wanted to do that song because of the line where uh, his original version says something where heaven meets um uh, earth or us with a sloppy wet kiss and he would re he refused to change that and so that's why a lot of the <laughs> radio stations didn't want to play it but uh the way you sang it just uh, brings up the emotion i think that um uh, the original writer had in that so great great job um so do you put any of your stuff out in social media youtube uh, yeah, anything, or just uh, um, just home? what red has of me on so, i mean he's saved my past reds runes he's saved to the youtube the reds room youtube which i will be linked at some point uh, but yeah that's the only thing that's there is those things i've done already on reds room well awesome to uh have uh, listened to your version of these songs and uh just uh, great and uh you know uh, we look forward to you popping up on more reds rooms down the road so um, i'll give you a minute so that you can switch back to the host uh, All right. <laughs> uh version because i know we have uh still coming up uh eric and uh kaya are still down and then i'm gonna be sharing a message in a little bit but uh let me hand uh the reins back over to uh liz here as uh, she continues to host uh, uh stay with us we got a lot more coming on everybody <laughs> 